What's up fishing freaks? Welcome back to another awesome episode. So today is an unboxing video obviously by the title and we got a brand new package from our friends at Digitaka in Japan. Digitaka is the only place I go to purchase my JDM reels from Shimano, Daiwa, Abu Garcia and several other manufacturers. They include a lot of tackle and lures and rods and not only reels, they have so many other cool Japanese stuff that involves fishing. So check it out, there's a direct link in the description box below. Christmas is right around the corner. Without further ado, let's get to the unboxing because that's what you're here for, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm super excited because they sent me two, two reels that ooh, I am looking forward to, honestly. Here we go, ooh, very nice. And as always, when you do order from Digitaka, they package it up really nice, really secure, and you get it within a few business days. I've got this within two business days, so really cool. All right, so they sent some new lures from Japan Obass Live. It's a new product, we'll get to it right in a moment, but let's get to the main objective here, which are the reels. Oh, wow, here we go. This is what I got for you today. I got the new Vanford C3000 XG, which is the super gear high ratio model that's only available in the JDM market. Daiwa Tatila SVTW. This is the 103XH in left-handed model. This is the high gear ratio, the JDM model. I got a spinning reel and I got a bait casting reel. So which one should we open first? I think we'll do the Shimano. The Shimano Vanford C3000 XG, probably in my opinion, the most popular spinning reel Shimano offers in their lineup. I mean, this is a good, good medium between high end and low end, right in the middle. Winter is right around the corner, so I'm gonna be targeting these redfish in deep, deep water. So I need to use heavier lures, like maybe half ounce to three, four ounce, maybe to an ounce, to get down to about 15, 18 feet down in the drains to catch those, those redfish, because that's where they're hanging out in the cold winter water. So let's open it up, see what we got here. Always gotta take a sniff. Man, that smells good. That smells like a new pair of Jordans. <laughs> all right, here we go. Packaging, it's all wrapped up bubble wrap really nice. You got the handle and you got the reel itself and some extra accessories right here. Oh, that's weird, they didn't include any oil. Usually Shimano includes oil, but maybe the van for model they don't. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen, who cares? Oh my God, look at that, ladies and gentlemen, tell me. That is not a sexy reel. Look at that coloring scheme, the black or the dark gray rather, or charcoal, other people say a little bit of chrome, some red letter, red, red accents, white lettering on it. I mean, this is a very stunning reel and rightfully so. That's why it's one of the more popular models that Shimano offers because it just looks really, really good. Man, that is so nice. So one thing that really pops out in my first impression is how light this is for a nice big package. C3000 is a pretty good mid-size versatile rig for the Texas coast. Most guys might go up to 4,000, maybe 4,500 to target big bull reds, but you can also do it with this model right here. The C3000 has a really comfortable grip, very nice, has a lot of drag power, all that good information. So some of the main features that comes with the Shimano C3000 XG is the Hagani gear which uh, Shimano really puts in all their models. They also have the Micro Module Gear 2, which pretty much makes it really, really smooth. And just the gearing feels really, really smooth, compact. It feels like a whole unit in one. The Shimano Vanford also has a newly designed bell opening and closing mechanism, which makes it really smooth. Also just really puts a lot of character into this reel overall. Shimano Vanford also comes with a Magnum light rotor contributing to the strength of the whole reel overall and the smoothness and the lightness of this whole package. It also has X-Protect, which is a way to protect the reel and the insides from water getting in or salt water getting in, any kind of corrosion. So yeah, it makes it more water resistant compared to other models. So as I stated earlier, I'm gonna be using this reel for heavier lures. And also I can throw light lures if I want to because of the small package of C3000. Look, it fits right in my palm just like that. It's lightweight, I can use this all day long. Going to be pairing it up with a light action most likely, or probably a medium light old 18 suppressor spinning rod. If you're interested in old 18, uh, use my discount code, save 20% off. Another great gift idea for your loved ones. Yeah, man, I'm super excited about this reel. I really think this is a great, great addition to my tackle arsenal. I'm looking forward to catching some big fish. And man, it just, 
It just looks really, really good. All right, next on our list is the brand new for 2020 Daiwa Tatila SVTW. Man, I've always wanted this reel, but for some reason I just never got it. I finally pulled the trigger. Here we go, first opening, here we go. Just like that. Whoo, I am super excited about this because a lot of guys have actually asked me for my opinion on the Tatula. So, whoo, this one smells really good too. This actually smells like a brand new Nintendo. No oil, no bag, just plain box, just like that. Neatly wrapped in a bubble wrap, just like this. Let's take that out right there. Oh man, I can, oh my God, this is actually a small package. Wow. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen, the new Tatula. SV TW and this is brand new for 2020 came out in late 2020 so pretty much you can say this is a 2021 model but oh my gosh this is actually holy smoke this is really really nice I'm actually pretty dang this this is a very nice reel <laughs> first impressions I mean this is a very handsome looking reel man I love the paint accents it has on the side here on the side plate even the emblem on the spool Tightener knob itself, I mean, it looks really, really great. The lettering, man, the coloring too, it's like a dark charcoal. Oh my gosh, it's very smooth too. Man, I <laughs> I am really surprised just firsthand, man. Great first impressions on this reel right off hand. Look how well it really fits in my hand right here. As I stated earlier, the Tatula SVTW came out in 2020. It only weighs 190 grams, which equates to 6.7 ounces. A pretty lightweight package for a versatile setup in my own opinion. Just looking at the website from Digitaka, Daiwa says that this specific model, the, the Tatula SVTW, is super versatile. From two gram weights all the way down to small little light lures, this reel can handle it. And that's, to me, a good definition of versatility in my opinion. So what I'm gonna do is probably gonna pair this up with a light action, old 18 suppressor rod, maybe go medium light, but light action for sure. And I'll be able to throw half ounce lures deep in those oyster beds in the bayou and channels to target redfish in the winter months. And also if I wanna throw a heavier like top water plug, this can handle it no problem at all. So most likely I'm gonna put probably a 1.3 gauge up to a 1.5 gauge braided line from um, Verbus and go from there. Maybe cut it down to 1.2, I'm not sure yet, but man, just love the versatility, love how it looks, just love how it fits in my hand. Spinning reel, the new Shimano Vanford, and the new Daiwa Tatula SVTW. Both of these are brand new model for 2020, pretty much 2021. In my possession now, so I'm super excited to put those in use. But real fast, Digitaka also sent me some lures from Japan called Obas Live. And these are like little creature baits, I guess, you would tie up to a end of a jig. And you can just you know put it at a regular you know swim jig or a heavier jig. I'll probably actually use these to target the redfish deep in the water because they they mimic like a crustacean, like a shrimp, like almost like a creature. There's a direct link in the description box below. So once again, thank you so much to Digitaka for supporting the channel. And once again, guys, I highly recommend them. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the unboxing, guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. You guys think I made a good choice on getting these two reels a day. I think I did, but I don't know. Maybe your opinion, maybe you have a different opinion. Let me know. I'd love to hear it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. I love every single one of you guys. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.